Refresh, rehydrate, re-energize. 100 plus. Looking for new life in the school's rugby arena, the Eagles from the Hill Capital, St. Anthony's College, will make it to this year's school's rugby league with the prime intention of making a mark in the top division. The oval ball sport became part and parcel of St. Anthony's College in 1956, with Trinity alumni Bobby Jawira being their first coach, with Bruce Winter giving leadership to the first rugby team. It was in 1962 that the team got themselves into the top league and commenced fixtures with Trinity, Royal and St. Thomas's. From the beginnings in 1962, the Antonians have grown steadily as a force to be reckoned with in the school's rugby arena. Over the years, the school has produced legendary players in the caliber of Nihal Gunaratna, Sri Lanka national cap Imran Bistamin and current Sri Lanka rugby CEO Priyante Kanayaka. The Antonians have had the privilege of clinching the league title on one occasion in 2002 under the captaincy of Tikiri Dasanayaka. However, during recent times, the Antonians have not tasted success in the school's format with the team not getting the results they would have wanted. In 2016, the team finished seventh in the Cubs segment and later in 2017, St. Anthony's was demoted to the plate championship. The team later went on to secure a satisfactory plate title, ensuring their spot in the top division. This will be a, a very good option, but they need to score. Yes, they have scored the first try, St. Anthony's College. And yes, they have scored. Leading a fresh outfit this year will be fourth-year player and prop forward Kavim Damarakon. Amarakon has been an important figure in the Antonian lineup over the years and will be expecting to lead by example this time around. Uh, learning from the last few mistakes, we had a good pre-season training with our new coaching staff. Uh, our boys are in good mindset. This year we have a good team. Uh, Fours are doing well. Uh, most of them are played in last season. Talking about our three-quarter line, we have some youngsters and also senior players. I think they will do well. Uh, we are planning to win our first game and concentrate on others' matches and we are planning to win league title. To all the Andonian fans, come watch our matches and support us in the season. Junior national cap Mohammed Shabir, who represented the country at the Youth Commonwealth Games as well as in the Asia Under-19 Championship last year, will be a key figure in the Antonian pack. The Antonian's front line will be powered by the services of Lasha and Mahinda Ratna and Savish Vira Khan. Ishara Lianage and Mohammad Makarim will bring in the X Factor in the back line. Returning to his alma mater after a successful stint with the Trinity under 18 side. 1986 captain Sanjay Amanugama is confident about his side's capabilities. When I took up coaching here in St. Anthony's in 2010, so at that time I was started as a junior coach. Actually, we are doing our off-season training, so we are coming into the season right now. So in three weeks' time, we are playing our first game. It's very competitive. So I have, with the Trinity last year, with the, almost with the first 15, I was coaching under 18 there. Uh, it's really highly competitive. Uh, if, you, if you are comparing to the club rugby, the school rugby is highly competitive, I think, in Sri Lanka especially. It will be a big task for me. Actually, boys are really motivated. So I hope I can do, will, do well in this season. With nothing to lose, 
The Antonians will first look to stay in contention to qualify for the cup championship and then finish the season off on a high. The fixtures for St. Anthony's College will be as follows.